Hi folks, we hope you'll enjoy the upcoming answers to this hot question. To people that use fireworks on random nights, why? Do y'all live near me or something? One of my neighbors lights one firework every night. Sometimes two over a span of a couple of hours but never more than that and they almost never skip a day. Ike what long slow holiday they are celebrating but they are certainly taking it seriously. Is this new behavior? Cause something similar is happening in my neighborhood and they've never been like this before. Because the drugs are here. And not kidding, near my home they use the fireworks to notify that the drugs are ready for pickup. How effing majestic. Different color fireworks for different kind of drugs. And one also for when the cops arrive, but set off through a gun. To confuse the rest of us and make us wonder if there's some sort of holiday we forgot about did Jesus do something on this day? On this day 20th of June, Jesus defeats Adolf Hitler and Smash Brothers effectively ending World War II. I'm Adolf Hitler, commander of the Third Reich. Just celebrating another day that I didn't die, don't mind me. Jokes aside though my neighbor does that sometimes and I can't for the life of me figure out why. I just figure they found some in storage and want to use them. Some of us only have our kids every other weekend and we have been eagerly awaiting shooting off fireworks with the kids and lighting Chinese lanterns and sparklers. These are the nights joint custody dads like myself have been waiting for. Not me but I think I've been hearing them outside for about a month now. Neighbors are annoying AF I don't even know if they're actually gunshots or fireworks. People are bored because of 2020. Not just 2020. Places I have lived, Midwest, do it every year. No matter what the economy is like people seem to have hundreds to burn up in the couple weeks preceding July 4th. Also in daylight. Why? My dogs hate you, FYI. This. Won't somebody please think of the doggos? How about the cats? It scares my fish. I have no idea, but my PTSD and I are really freaking tired of it. I understand that some people really enjoy them, but can we please just keep it on designated days slash hours? For the first week slash weeks of July, I know that as soon as it starts to get dark, I close all the curtains and put on my noise cancelling headphones and do my best to block it out until it's light outside again. While I hate them, I get that the whole world isn't going to stop for me, and I'm not asking them to. But please, can we just stick to some specific days slash hours and can we actually enforce them? This. I have PTSD and sensory issues. I can handle it if I'm prepared, like on 4th of July and New Year's. But when people randomly set them off I can't. My mom is also affected by it because she was present at the Boston Marathon bombing, so it can be triggering. Plus I have to deal with my scared pets, including my dog who will spend the whole night barking until they stop. I feel like fireworks have more negative impacts than positive ones. I personally don't mind city fireworks for special events, but I really don't think just anyone should be allowed to use them, with the exception of things like sparklers. No one needs to be setting off loud fireworks in their neighborhood emo. This doesn't answer the question, but the question reminded me of something creepy. I used to be homeless in Tucson, Arizona for four years. My ex and I slept in a tent behind some bushes on the side of the road. We hear fireworks all the friggin' time. One day I was at a park where all the homeless hang out at. I went to the bathroom and a crazy homeless woman was in there. She was talking nonsense for a bit and then stops suddenly, looks me dead in the eye and says, those aren't fireworks you hear at night. Just out of the blue. I hadn't said anything about fireworks. I tell ya, I didn't sleep well anytime I heard fireworks at night after that. I'm guessing some are celebrating Juneteenth today. Pardon my idiocy. But what exactly is Juneteenth? It makes sense you don't know being it's not taught in any school system ick of. June 19, 1865, was the day that troops landed in Texas to notify the still enslaved people that they had been freed by the Emancipation Proclamation. It is celebrated because it was a big milestone in the ending of slavery, except as punishment for crime, in the US finally, two years after the Emancipation Proclamation, some of the last enslaved people were being told of their freedom. Southern California they literally go all night long every day. Seriously WTF is happening. Queens New York and same. Driving me nuts. They start around 5 to 6 and it goes on and off till 3 to 4 every damn day for weeks now. Queens neighbor here dot it's been especially bad around Jackson Heights and Elmhurst. I'm in Louisville RN, and it's not exactly the best neighborhood. So some are hard to tell if they're fireworks or not. PRP checking in. 
I haven't been keeping a log, but it feels like I've heard and seen fireworks every night for a month or more. Because anytime you hang out with more than three Mexican guys, a brisket, a bottle of tequila, it's 1.30 AM, too drunk to play cards or pool, someone's going to say, hey, let's do some leftover fireworks I got in the garage. It's safe to assume all Mexican families have a $500 pile of leftover fireworks in the garage. And at a Mexican's house, you don't decline liquor, don't ever say no thanks to their mom or aunt's third plate of food they bring you, and you just pop the fireworks. And I guess who gives a poop if the guy next door just got off an 18-hour shift, Amirite? Seriously just once do you ever think, hey, maybe people don't want to hear this? Well see I was at work. We found our boss's screenplay he wrote so we were giving it a table read. During that, I found out that my boss had used my name as the bumbling moron sidekick. Everyone wanted to take a break so I invited them out to watch some fireworks my uncle gave me as a diversion from the pain I felt inside. You didn't bring Kevin with you? Legit response that tries to be fair to the people who set them off, it's mostly young men who have stashed fireworks, and are hyped for 4th of July and just can't wait. They think we're all squares and just don't know what fun is and they're forcing us to lighten up. Or that our discomfort is funny to them. It came up a lot when I was working with young men in counseling. A lot of guys just need to blow crap up. This is the best way most can do it. I guess it's better than homemade explosives but they're still being a noose. Teenagers and young adults aren't great at empathy. This. When I was a little girl three of my older brothers were all in high school at the same time. They would always be blowing stuff up in our backyard with their buddies. Fireworks, homemade bombs made out of 2 liter soda bottles foil and toilet bowl cleaner, and even M80s they bought on the reservation. They would go to Goodwill and find pots to put them under, or figurines to smash. As a little girl watching them out the window I was really excited by it and thought my brothers were awesome. Now as an adult I feel sorry for our neighbors, what would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.